I'm Nadine, the founder of Throttle, and today I'm here with Ken Gucci, professional Formula Drift driver. Hey Ken, how's Hi. it going? Good. I can't believe how fast this year has been going by, but just really excited to be here. Whenever I come and I ask people about, you know, how do you make your drift car better? They always tell me about, you know, the parts that you can do. But is there something else that you should be looking into? Absolutely. I think the number one most important thing is having the right parts that work for you and your driving style. And for one, I stand with Link ECU who has been supporting me for this uh, new package that we have been running, which is a 2022 Toyota Gazoo Racing GR86. And the reason why I went with Link ECU is because the amount of knowledge that these staff have have been um, tremendous. From everything from track support to remote support, uh, it's just absolutely mind-blowing how much they can do, even when they're not physically there. So when I run into issues, because let's be honest, I'm not an ECU tuner, I have no idea what I'm looking at when I get on a laptop. So it's really nice having guys like Forrest and Jason from Link ECU just hop on the laptop wherever they are and see what's going on with the with the cars and the product actually works so most people think like you know to build a competitive drift car just throw in everything get the most out of it really big horsepower numbers but in reality it's all about balance right so sometimes we actually have to take a step back and reduce the horsepower numbers to make it competitive. Reduce it? Yeah. Why would you reduce your horsepower? So depending on the tracks that we're at and the grip level of the surface of the track, um, sometimes there is a such thing as having too much horsepower. So we have to actually turn the boost down. And in our case, the issue we were running into was there's just too much power going into turn one and we were just breaking the tires too much preventing the car from actually accelerating. We came in and I told Forrest, hey, uh, it's too much. Like, let's turn it down a little bit. And uh, we were able to find a little bit more speed in doing so. So just a word of advice. It's not all, always about, you know, having the biggest horsepower numbers. It's always uh, the best thing to look for balance. So how often do you review your analytics? Is it after every race? Is it after every warm up, qualifying? What do you do? I mean, myself and my team, we like to go over, you know, what worked, what didn't work, what changes we can make, get with the guys from Link ECU and have them go over the data on my laptop and see, you know, if the engine's running healthy, if there's any potential issues. Um, so yeah, everything is all about strategically planning, you know, the next move. So Ken, if people want to get in touch with you and find out more about your car, how can they do it? Well, if you guys want to know more about me or the car, you guys can always find me on the Throttle app or through my social network, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. He's on everywhere, guys. So keep watching him as the season goes on. And please subscribe to our channel as Throttle's feeling connections and driving experiences.